Hey, this is Benny Johnson back for another hacking tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually find out what you've got in your box. And what I mean by this is how to actually find out what hardware your system is currently running on, so you can reference information about how to install OS X on your specific hardware. Because in the last couple of tutorials, I spoke about what hardware is and is not compatible with OS X, and maybe you don't know what hardware your system is currently running on. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to actually find out that information in Windows. Uh, sorry for all the Linux users out there, you're going to have to find an alternative to this. So, to get started, you want to go to Google and type in SIW. And this stands for System Information for Windows. Now, unfortunately, the developer stopped running the free version of this software, but you can find it on other servers. So, the one I recommend you go go to is the Portable Apps link, which will probably be the third or fourth one down. And all you need to do is click on that, and it's about a 3 megabyte installer. Run it like any other installer, select a location, da 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 da. And once you've got it installed, navigate to that folder where you installed it to, and open it up. Then you want to open up the executable, which is the SIW portable, and that will boot up the program. So this program is really great to find out a lot of information about your computer and your software and that sort of thing, but what we're worried about is our hardware in a system. So what we're going to do is scroll down to the hardware section and the first thing we need to find out is our motherboard. So you want to click the motherboard link there in the left hand panel and there's a few things that you'll need to write down and make sure you write these down, you don't st store them in a Word document or anything like that because there's a big chance that you'll probably need this information, however you won't be able to get into your computer or get that file. So make sure you use the standard old way of writing it down on a piece of paper. So the first thing you want to write down is the actual manufacturer and this will help when you're searching for your motherboard model and that sort of thing. So mine's an ASUS Tech um, manufacturer and my model's a P5KPL-AM-PS really big number. Uh, so yeah, these models aren't really helpful for the human, but once you throw it into a search query, you can find a lot of information about your motherboard and that sort of thing. You can find out audio codecs and that sort of thing. Alright, so you've got your motherboard down and there's some other things you need to write down. So the second thing is you need to write down your CPU model. In the last couple of tutorials I said that you cannot have an AMD processor and I hope I be beat that into your head and into your brain so you can remember that. So my CPU is an Intel Core 2 Duro uh, CPU which is a E7500 clocked at 2.93 GHz. A uh, really big number. You don't need to worry about all this R and TM and any shit like that. Just write it down as simple as that. The last thing you need to actually get is the video. If you've got a graphics card, uh, you'll need to write this down, but if you don't, you have an inbuilt one. Make sure you know what that actually is in your CPU if you've got that built in GPU. Now, my video card is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 465, so you'll need to write down yours and make sure that it's compatible. So that's about it. That's all you need to find out is the motherboard, CPU, and your graphics card, and you should be good to go. And you'll be able to reference this information later if you need to find out more specific information about your audio codec or your network adapter and that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and I'll see you guys later.